hello guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create 3d polaroid and um, images or pictures on a map just like johnny harris did on this video so this is really simple to do so without wasting much time let's get into it so before we start if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe and like the channel and share also so you can get more videos like this i've already created a composition then after that so the first thing we need to do is i'll create another composition a new composition and i'll do this as black and i'll make this 180 by 180 i'll click ok so after that i'll go down to layers layers new then create a new solid and leave it as it is and also make it white so after that i'm going to create a shape click on your shape tool i'll leave it as hello fill no stroke then i'll draw a shape like this just like this just like a polaroid then click leave it like this then make the solid alpha invert mat of the top of the top shape layer and now we have a black background behind so i've already imported several pictures that i'm going to be using for this video just like you saw in the intro so i'm just going to bring down this image here i'm just going to scale it down and click on here and position it so it fits our frame here um i'm going to add add the text and name it stone hinge i'm going to click on scale to scale it down then use my tool to reposition it so i'm just doing this roughly so you can also work on this you can do it as as ever you want or this is what I'm going to be using. So this is the first step of what we're going to be producing. So I'll go back to the main comp. Then, so this is the map we're going to be using. I'll scale it up a bit so it fits our comp. Then I'm going to bring down the composition we just created below it. Then create scale, then scale it down. Depending on what you want to use it for, you can scale it to about, to about the position you want it. Then I'm going to reposition it into I'm going to reposition it towards UK. It's pretty large and it covers everything. So you can scale it down to where you want it, but I just want it to be a bit large over UK. So I have other pictures that I want to create. I have the Pfizer Redeemer in Brazil. I have this Madagascar. I don't know the name of the trees. And I have the Great Wall of China. Pyramid of Giza and the Liberty. So I need to duplicate this comb here and add the rest of the image and rename them. But to do this, if I just duplicate and decided to play around with this or change anything here, as you can see, I've already done, then reposition it. You're going to see that our main comb has been has also been changed. So there's a better way to to duplicate this image and i've also made a tutorial about this so i also link that in the description below or here so this is how to duplicate it you click on your comp then go down to review then review in source projects then down here just duplicate it here we have another one here so there, there's a free plugin that you can use to duplicate your comp and which is very fantastic like i said i've already made a tutorial about this so i won't go in deeply into this so i'll just bring down my second comp here it's pretty large so i'll just bring down my position and also my scale parameter then scale it down then reposition it to where i want it to be then i'll make all the changes to where i want then i'll make all the changes now you see that here is not affecting this main comp here so i'll do this for all the for all the images that i have here and reposition them so come back when you've done that so once you've done all that the next thing you need to do is copy all your layers all the pre-comp and the map and pre-comp them and unselect this open new composition pre-comp them so now they are in it in a new pre-comp so i'll bring up a new so i'll create a new camera a new camera then go down to toggles and switches and make our pre-com a 3d layer so the thing we need to do is i'll click on this drop down here 
on transform at the beginning of our timeline you can extend this to whichever position you want it it doesn't have to be long for me so i click on position and i also click on orientation at the beginning of the timeline to create a keyframe then go like maybe let's say five seconds forward then i'm going to click on the z space to zoom in a bit just this is just a simple animation i'm going to be creating i'm just going to click on z space animation then also click then create a bit of bit of an animation here click on the orientation slide it a bit i can go a bit higher here just a simple animation here so you can really create something you can mess around with some of these parameters here to create what you want and like that you've made a 3d polaroid image